All right, guys. Um, I'm going to show you how to install an SSL certificate on uh, Namecheap. If you have Namecheap hosting, you know that they want you to um, buy a uh, SSL certificate uh, after a year. So it's been a year, and they want me to buy a certificate for like eight dollars um, a year, and um, I'm not going to do that. Um, Let's Encrypt gives you SSL certificates. Um, I'm not really uh, selling anything. I'm just basically having a test site and I need the SSL, but I really don't want to pay for it. So um, I'm not going to go into many things. This is maybe not like a beginner video. So you would have to know what cPanel is. You would have to know um, where to go. So I'm actually going to do this as I go. Um, I didn't plan anything, so I just want to show you how to do it. Um, you're going to have to do this um, every time uh, your um, certificate expires. I don't remember if it's yearly. Okay, let's see. Automatic FTP verification, manual verification. Now I'm just going to upload verification files manually to your domain to verify ownership Okay, then we're going to create a folder, create a folder in your domain name, well known, if it does not already exist, if you use Windows, you may add, uh, blah, 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 okay, so basically, you have to do this to get verified, um, make sure that you're the owner of the domain, so you're going to go to your cPanel, and, and you're going to go to your uh, file manager, And um, go to your public HTML and um, you're going to create a folder here. Um, you got to excuse me, guys. I'm not really, I haven't like plan this video so um, if you don't know how to do what I'm doing then you know watch another video cuz I'm not really gonna try and go into details um, you should be able to know what you're um, doing so there it is I created the well-known folder with a um, with a dot in front of it you won't see it here because the dot in front of it makes it invisible on some of the stuff so basically I created it there I'm just following instructions I'm not really okay so here we go um, manually verify domain create a folder on your domain name well known if it does not exist if you blah 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 create another folder in your domain under well known name Acme challenge so we're gonna go ahead and do that And here we go, new folder. Gonna be called Acme Challenge. Create new folder. Okay, if it does not exist, upload the downloaded files to the Acme Challenge folder. Verify successful upload by visiting the following links in your browser. Okay. So we're gonna um, we're gonna paste these uh, files that we downloaded into the Acme Challenge folder. And easy enough, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna open that up and we're gonna um, upload uh, here we go we're gonna upload and we're going to select these files that we downloaded and they are here okay let's do this again doesn't
I'm just dropping the files there. I'm gonna go back and reload. Now we're gonna go back to create free as a cell and you're gonna verify the success. I'm just gonna click on open a new tab and open on new tab. Okay. So I just verified it. If the files do not show random alphanumeric characters, blah blah blah. Okay, click download SSL certificate now. So I have my own. No, I don't. I just gonna click download SSL certificate. See, so right now it's gonna go and verify that you um, did all the correct things, and they can verify your account, um, and it's gonna generate a certificate. Okay. Um, I already have an account. This will um, basically these are your certificates that you created. I'm gonna open up um, Notepad and just copy all of them. Open up another one. Um, just opening up uh, notepads you don't really need to save these um, I mean as far as like the notepad goes with the name because it just says at the beginning it tells you begin private key okay I'm gonna click on download all, all SSL, um, SSL certificate files is gonna download it into like a zip file I already copy these so to install them this is what you're gonna do and this is the um, this is a little trick that um, you need to follow um, sorry guys um, I'm gonna have to go do this because I know I did it a few ago but um, you're gonna have to go back to cPanel and Forgive me for uh, trying second guess stuff, but it's been a while since I've done this. So um, you're going to go to, let me see, you're going to go to SSL security. You're going to go to the status. Oh, not here. So, let me go back and show you where I went. I'm going to go install and manage SSLs for your site. Um, I'm going to select domain. This is it right here. And I'm just going to copy the private key and all that good stuff. Okay, first. begin private key okay so I'm gonna do the private key right here I already copy the private key here's a private key um, I'm gonna copy begin certificate okay I'm going to go back here and copy the CA bundle. Select all, copy. Okay. Now install certificate. Everything should work. SSL successfully updated. You have successfully updated SSL certificate. Blah, 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 blah. Hit OK. And now we're going to go back to um, the status. And there it is. Now, I only got certificates for these two guys. If you need certificates for all these, you're going to have to go back here and create them individually. Um, so, it's free. So, if you pay for it, you don't have to do this, but that's how everything is. So, um, let me just double check here.
it's probably not gonna work right away so um, I'm just gonna pause the video and um, wait a, maybe a few now one thing to note is the expiration date on these certificates um, it's about three months so you're gonna have to do this um, every three months if you create an account on um, the SSL for free website I'm sure it, you won't have to go through all these uh, steps um, they'll they'll know you're the owner of the domain and um, it will probably just uh, spit out the new certificates right away but if you just want to pay you can just pay now there's another way you can do this as well it's through uh, Cloudflare um, I, I'll make another video right now on how to do it with Cloudflare um, the only difference is the uh, certificate is going to be from Cloudflare SSL it's going to have their name on it I don't know if you want to do that if you really care I for this site I don't really care I'm just testing this site right now it's not like a production site some people might not want that but if you just want to get like an SSL certificate for ranking your site better and you know just uh, if you don't really want to bother with it you just go to cloudflare.com and open an account and then just follow the instructions I'll go ahead and do another video to show you how you do that um, it should be pretty straightforward all right guys this thing is done so um, um, I've installed the certificate and here's the certificate valid it's got a SSL connection and there's where um, the valid from December 9 to um, March 8 2020 so on March 8 uh, 2020 what's gonna happen is your site is just gonna be um, disabled the uh, certificate the secure the SSL certificate is just going to be disabled and you're just going to have to do this again so um, there you go that's it um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn off this video and then I'm going to go ahead and do another one to show you how to do it on Cloudflare